Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on BeamNG Drive with a little bit of a challenge. In fact, this was one that was set by Lado to me a few days ago. I have got to try and take the Regency off-road limo around a very seriously challenging off-road course. Now, this is a slightly different map than the one that was suggested. Uh, that trail wasn't really quite long enough uh, so instead I've gone to a map I've used this one before actually called off-road trails it is a very tough uh, challenging route to take extreme off-road vehicles now this cannot complete some of it uh, the reason I've started part way through the course um, because there's a water section it can't do it doesn't have a ground clearance it just drowns the engine out we don't have a snorkel and this bit here because of the length of the vehicle and the overhangs it just can't do the building swap it just beaches itself and gets stuck uh <laughs> so we're starting we're going to see a little bit more of the course as i have done this did a video on this map a long long time ago to the start of it uh, but we'll see a different part of the course and i'll do the best i can with this let's face it this is about as rubbish or an idea for an off-road vehicle as it gets. It's got massive overhangs at the front and especially at the rear. We'll get stuck on everything. It has good ground clearance but because the vehicle is so long the chances of it beaching itself are quite high. The radiator is made of glass and has a tendency to break very easily and the vehicle overheats incredibly quickly when the radiator does break. That's just a Regency thing, not so much an off-roady thing. I mean it's got power, it's got good tyres, it's got diff locks of course that will help it. I think it's got, some, it's got enough ground clearance to get away with things like this. Just about. Um, but yeah, it's the most ridiculous off-roader. It is not a thing that you would really want to be tackling this sort of a course, which is why I'm going to see how far we can get through it. I know I am going to be able to use the node grabber effectively to be a winch if uh, things go a little bit awry. Um, you know, if you had an extreme rock crawler, those kind of things, they generally come with winches that could pull you out of some situations. Uh, so we will have that. There's no equivalent on beam, so the node grabber will work. Uh, we are through the first sort of obstacles. Nothing too bad. Uh, I've got to be very careful. Oh, don't tell me we're crossing the water. Please don't be too deep. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look as bad as the container bridge that I had to skip. Uh, please don't be too deep. Uh, God, I mean, you can already see there how easy it is to have this vehicle start hydro locking that was so close as well yeah okay that does not like that section we're through though doesn't like water so we have to be careful uh, we are through the engine's got a little bit of hydro but it, it's dried out i just don't think that'll affect any performance and not that that's too much of a concern at the moment uh, this will probably be the most careful you'll ever see me drive because i know how easy the radiator is to break in this uh, where are we oh don't tell me we're playing with the water again i don't want to play with the water again game uh, oh, hell, that's not fun. That's not fun looking at all. Uh, are we going to have the ground clearance to get over those walls? That's actually quite a lot. I guess we're going to have to find out. Please, please let us have enough ground clearance to get over the wall. Uh, we are on the brakes, just very, very gently putting the vehicle down here. Okay, we're good. We're on to the platform nice and straight okay it does it's not as bad when you get down here it's not as bad as it looks initially uh, we are over and we are over okay here we go next part like I, I, I think i want to keep a bit of momentum going if i can but i've got to make sure we stay on the platform here oh how are we going to get off this end part is going to be a problem just because we're the vehicle's so long uh, we will bounce our way across here yeah, this is going to be iffy as anything. Uh, I think we'll have to just go for it a little bit. Uh, what are we stuck on, actually? What am I stuck on? That shouldn't be stuck on something. Okay, there we go. We're across! Happy days. We're going to have to do a little bit of shuffling here on the old, hand, uh, old handbrake, on the old reversing, but that's fine. We are good. All is mostly well. Bit scared. Uh, <laughs> okay, one plus point we do have over a conventional rock crawler. Because of the silly nature of this vehicle, it's actually slightly less top-heavy than you would get from a traditional crawler, so this isn't quite as bad to drive down um, because of the length of the platform here, and it doesn't have the craziest ride height. Um, it is slightly better to tackle that sort of an obstacle. Uh, slightly less likely to see it fall over, which I know is a surprise for me, as it is for you, uh, knowing my tendencies in driving games to fall over at every possible opportunity. But I think that this might be slightly less likely to fall over. Where the hell am I going here, by the way? 
We going back across the rocks? Yeah, we're going to go back across the rocks. Um, I feel like I might have to go up here to turn around, though. Because I don't know if I've got the steering lock. But it's fine. There's nothing saying we can't go up here. So I guess we can. Don't bump a tree. If I punch the radiator on a tree, I'll be very sad. <laughs> that would be a very, very unfitting way to end this. Okay. Here we go. Can we cross the rocks? Th these are a potential downfall for me if we get ourselves beached like that. Um, these, this sort of like actual rock rock crawling is not going to be the best. Thing. This isn't the worst sort of rock crawling we could do. Um, it's just the length. The length and sticky out bits of rock are what might kill me. Right, we're going to go for it and hope. Ugh! And that final rock there was at a really dicey angle, so I sort of felt like we didn't have an option. The Regency has made it, though. The radiator is in one piece. The vehicle is still going. All is fairly good in the world of the off-road limo. I'm just going to kind of cruise it a little bit here. Uh, let the engine cool down. Don't, don't even think about telling me we're going back to play in some water. Oh, game. You're killing me here. You really want the Regency to drown, don't you? How do I even... I don't even know what the route is. I think that's the route there. <sighs> Banzai it and try and get the nose out of the water? I don't really like to have to do that. I was supposed to try to be careful here, but I feel like Banzai, get it, nose out, nose out. Oh. Okay, we're fine. Sorry, engine. You've had a really rough day, but we are out the other side. All is okay enough in the world here. Uh, let us climb over these next obstacles and let us hope we deal with minimal amounts of water. <laughs> I, mean, I guess the good news is if the radiator had gone, at least all the water would have been cooling it. The radiator hasn't gone, and let's keep it that way, please. Uh, we've got to try and make a turn somewhere up here. I mean, with the, with the nature of this circuit... Uh, it is a little... You can take a few liberties with... Tra I'm just trying to stay on the trail as best I can with this, even, you know, even with it being a very silly vehicle. Uh, but you can get away with a little bit of wandering wide and a little bit of, uh, yeah, interpretations of where the uh, limits are. Uh, okay. We've got, we've got to take some speed up these crests because I'm afraid if we don't, we'll beach it. Uh, although if we go too fast, we do run the risk of... Uh, clonking the nose and smashing the radiator to pieces. That one actually wasn't as... It looked steeper. Some of these... It's like we approach them and they look steeper beforehand than they actually are when you start climbing them. So that's... That's all right. We'll climb this one. That is quite... That's steeper at a funny angle. Uh, will we have the traction to do this? Come on. Come on, Regency. Don't shake yourself to pieces. There we go. Nicely does it. We have made it up another hill. Oh, these are bad. These are really bad for me. Uh, I'm going to have to go at these at a funny angle. I don't actually... We're going to have to cheat, I think, a little bit here. We're going to kind of have to go across the top of them. Because uh, that we are just going to get beached on. It's a little cheaty, but it's fine. Holy crap, my poor radiator. Oh, Regency. This is about to go really badly wrong for you. I fear this might be the death of my radiator. Uh, I'm on the brakes here. I cannot do any more to slow the vehicle down than this. Hey! <laughs> it's fine. The radiator lives. I thought that was going to be the death of it. I thought that was going to hit the ground and kill the radiator. But it was just a smooth enough landing that we got away with it. Okay, Regency, let's climb this next hill. Oh, it's dicey up there. We have made it, but only just. We will avoid the concrete barricades. Whew. We're fine. We're okay. Oh, bloody hell. It worked last time. It did work last time. Here. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, that rock is in a horrible place. I wonder, in the history of this map, how many cars have been smashed on that rock. I feel like that was put there intentionally to catch out vehicles coming down that hill. Oh, don't tell me we're... I don't want to climb a hill again. <laughs> I know we're going to have to, but uh, we're on an off-road trail map. Of course we're going to climb a steep hill. Please can we just not have any more radiator-shattering downhill sections for us? 
Uh, we've got away with them so far, at least. That's something. Where are we going here? Oh, good God. That looks nasty. I don't know whether we're going to have the grip to do this. We're going to try it, though. Here we go. Nicely does it. Uh, along the... Oh. Oh! No, not my rear wheel. Uh, if you want to take off the rear bumper, I'm cool with that. You can get rid of the rear bumper all you like. In fact, you cut off the rear of the car, I'd be very happy then. Oh, please don't roll, please don't roll, please don't roll, please don't roll. Gently does it. All is good. Has that snapped my rear wheel? Or is it just... No, 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 it's all good. It's all good. We're fine. The rear wheel is... Does the suspension look wonky? I can't tell. We're on such uneven terrain, it's really difficult to know if the suspension's wonky at the back. It might be. It might just be the bodywork, though, that's bent. I think it's just the bodywork bent around the rear wheel. It's fine. We've made it through all of this. Uh, where are we going now? This looks surprisingly easy. I don't like that. Surprisingly easy seems deceptive to me. I still can't figure out if this is like up with the rear suspension or not. Uh, it's very bouncy down here. Okay, yeah, there's a few bumps that we don't quite see. We're heading into the more industrial area. I'm guessing I don't go that way. Please don't be any really ridiculous kind of climbs for us. This is all okay so far. Uh, just please don't get too narrow. Uh, where are we going? Uh, I don't I have no idea. I'm going underneath here. Uh, this is an earlier part of the map. You drive across the buildings. Uh, which is fun. And it's actually doable in this vehicle, uh, I should point out <laughs> as well. Uh, I did drive the early part of this course briefly uh, just to see if this was even vaguely plausible. And the limo can do quite a lot. Um, it's just, yeah, a few water crossings where it can't do. Are we supposed to go in there? Do we go in there later? Not 100% sure where I'm going at this moment in time. No, no, I think we're still going this way. I'm slightly lost. This doesn't seem too bad. I think this is a good way to check out the state of my car limo contraption. No, this is more like it. Uh, although this, again, doesn't look too bad. I feel like, feel like there's plenty of options for us in terms of routes we can take if it starts looking like we're going to get beached. Uh, we are across these sort of sand areas. Uh, we will climb here. That's all good. Uh, we are heading this way then. That's fine. Okay, so we're back bound to where we were when I started getting confused. Yeah, that's a strange... That's a fairly easy little loop, although this section is right a shaker on the old wheels. Look at the front wheel go mad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess that could cause some problems for some vehicles. Uh, maybe. Oh, we're climbing hills again. I've got no turning circle. It's fine. We'll lose some penalty points or whatever if it was an actual proper trail event. Uh, <laughs> we went outside the boundaries. Whatever. Uh, we're still going. This would not be the vehicle you use for a trial event. But it is making it still. Up the sandy hill we go. That's no problem. We've got the power for this. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do these. Don't do these. These are where I get beached if we're not careful. We're climbing on buildings again. Awesome. Limo, please get the nose up. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, this is where I am concerned about us either getting beached. Oh, that's also a concern. Right, we're going to have to give us a bit of welly because I don't want to... Or we go very gently over the end. There's two options. It's either gently over the end or give it a bit of welly to try and cushion the blow. That has to have a bit of welly. Oh, this jump might might be the death of my radiator. I don't know. Come on, limo. Oh, that's a way bigger jump than I thought it was going to be. We did not need that much speed. Oh, I've killed my bloody radiator. Oh, <laughs> that's annoying. I didn't know how much speed we were going to need over there. We did not need actually all that much. It has taken out the radiator. Oh, we're going to be an overheating blob anytime soon. But that's, well, we're on the move at least. We're continuing onwards. Uh, come on now. Uh, bloody hell, that's narrow. Our wheels are barely on this platform, but we are up. Got to give it, again, got to give it a little bit of throttle there to make sure that we can climb up it. Uh... That I don't know what's going to have a hitbox and what isn't going to have a hitbox on this roof. Uh, so we're kind of being careful. I have no idea if all of this or none of this has a hitbox. Can we fall through any of this? That looks pretty solid. Okay, that's slightly less scary then. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's still scary because I bet there's one that has a hitbox. Oh, for a second I thought we'd have to jump the roof, but no, there is actually 
platform, a ramp for us to go down here. Oh, easy does it. There we go. Okay, we are across. Now we're playing silly buggers on another rooftop with another very narrow kind of gantry way. Holy, oh, we got to play on the cranes. Oh, no. There's definitely no way we're getting any water anytime soon to cool the engine. I guess if we fall off, we could go play in some water, but then, you know, if we've fallen off, it's going to take us just as long to get back and the engine will have overheated. So, you know, we're nicely across there, at least. This might be what kills us, actually. It's the turning circle. Oh! That is solid. I did not expect that signpost to be solid. I thought most of these were kind of not real entities. I take that back, signpost. I do apologise. Uh, here we go. Can... Okay, it might not be quite as bad a turn as I initially thought. It isn't. This one here will be doable. It'll take a little bit of shuffling. Uh, but it is doable in the limo. Just got to go in yet. Rejig it. Oh, rejig it a couple of times. Uh, and this is me playing a little bit cautiously. Uh, we've got this far, I don't want to fall off now. Okay, we're up and onto the cranes. Now, there probably won't be kind hitboxes to save me here. Probably won't be. I'm not going to try and risk it. We're going to be... Uh, there is some element of kind hitboxes, but I don't know what element of. Oh, bugger me. Have we got ground clearance to clear that? We do. There we go. We'll twitch afterwards. Got to give it a bit of a... Yeah, so we've got to give it a bit of speed just to make sure that we can actually get over the other side of it. Uh, oh, God. This is horrible. It's just the, the thing is twisted to one side. Don't know where the hitbox is going to be for this, and we're off. Okay, awesome. The, ra the, the engine's still okay at the moment. I think mostly because we're just taking it a bit easy. We're not really used much in the way of throttle. Uh, we will jump over here. I mean, we've got to kind of complete these jumps a little bit. Where the hell does this go? Oh, bloody hell. My radiator wasn't dead before. This would kill it. I think we've got to carry enough speed we don't get beached. Oh, oh that was actually perfect. That is, a, That was a perfect downhill section there for the off-road limo. This is doing good. It's doing really good, actually. Okay, now we just don't run the car too hard. Uh, now we're off that uh, section. We're back into the dirt. Uh, this bit here will be no problem for us. Uh, we will just... If we, yeah, if we just go up a gear, perhaps, and just run at low revs, I don't need to go crazy. That might screw us. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Our ground clearance might might fail us here. I don't know whether we could even get up this. We're going to give it a try. Yeah, okay, so we're in... Uh, there's water! There is water! I think we're going to just get beached. Yeah. Our ground clearance is not making that obstacle. Uh, even if we got into the water, I can sit here and safely say that is the end for the off-road limo. Uh, now, thankfully, with the location where we are... I'm going to pick it up by the roof because I'm trying to not break anything on the underside. Uh, with the location where we are, I actually think we can just drive around this and continue onwards. There's no chance this is getting over there. Uh, even if we somehow bounce it into the pool... It's not going to fit in the pool, and it's going to get stuck trying to climb out. Yeah, that's not even going to fit in the water. So this obstacle will defeat this car, no question. It's a very cool obstacle, and a proper trials truck will have no problem. Well, it'll be tough, but it could do it. This simply can't, but I can drive around it. So we will carry on a little bit uh, further. Uh, oh, God, we'll climb over a random pile of sand in a building. Now, that's more like it. That's, that's more plausible for us. We can do that sort of climb. Uh, and then we are out the other side. I don't know where... Okay, I guess we'll go over towards those red clocks. That will be the end of uh, this section, that section, if you will. Oh, please let me find some water. Actually, are they drive throughable? No idea. Yes, they are. Please let us find a bit of water. Just let me cool the engine down. Hey, the radius has done surprisingly well. I did think it was going to be quicker to go. I know we aren't running the car very hard in some... In a lot of places here. We are more idling a bit and then being careful but I did I, I know how quick this overheats in under kind of normal conditions um, or say semi-normal conditions so I am surprised to see oh wait have we got back oh, I think we've got back to the start I think this is actually we've made it all the way back to the start line 
Uh, this is where the course would start normally. You know what, I guess we'll carry on until we get stuck. Um, yeah, this is where the, the trail would normally begin. So we've done the second half of the map, basically, with this. With one, one I say a couple of sections that are impassable uh, for us. Hey! That, that start gate is quite difficult because of the overhangs. Uh, yeah, there's water sections that are that are impassable for this, and there is that one that one little part. I mean, it is probably one of the more extreme trial sections you'll find around. Uh, it's just yeah, the vehicle's too big, the overhangs are too ridiculous on it, and that it is never going to do. But it did remarkably well on everywhere else. I can't believe we got some of the extreme downhill sections as well as we did, uh, and we got hell, we even got a couple of the jumps. If the radiator hadn't gone on that jump, uh, we'd actually be in pretty good shape in general here. Uh, let's see what the rest of this has to offer. I mean, of course, the start of the track should, in theory, be a bit easier than the end of the trail. So I'm hoping we can run through here. Oh, God, no, I've got, go, I've got to go back to being careful. There is some water coming up, so we might actually get the vehicle to have a little bit of a breather. Uh, oh, that's a steep, nasty downhill section. We will have to grab a reverse. I was trying to be a bit clever and it didn't work. Funnily enough, who would have thought me trying to be a bit clever didn't work? Uh, <laughs> let's clamber our way through the mud here. Ah, uh, oh, there is some water in all of this as well. If we can just dunk the nose far enough in, like that, does that cool it? Nope. Uh, where is some deeper water? Uh, I don't know if it's actually technically water here. Uh, oh, again, they're not drive throughable. Uh, is there some water coming up here? Yes, there is. Okay, car. Just cool down. I don't think this is too deep. Oh, it is too deep. <laughs> God damn it, I thought we were going to be okay. I thought we could just cool it. Well, we have now cooled it. I'm an idiot. We should have just booted it through there. That I was trying to... Oh, okay, I think it's slightly deceptive how deep it is in places. Like there, it's, there's almost no water at all. <sighs> I mean, that basically sums up the off-road limo. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, we found some water. We've had a puddle. Uh, and yeah, by the time I realised we needed to actually go through there, it was too late. I, I tried to stop in the deepest part of the bloody water, um, trying to be clever. It was not clever. Uh, and we hydro-locked the engine. Um, but yeah, I mean, the off-road limo, uh, it is the world's most unsuitable vehicle for this kind of course. It really is. But surprisingly capable around here. There are some obstacles that it simply can't do, and a snorkel would be helpful uh, in terms of um, a lot of those obstacles. A lot of the obstacles, the snorkel is the thing that stops it. Um, but yeah, really, really extreme kind of trails because of the um, length. It can't quite do it, but uh, it is surprisingly good. It is surprisingly good. That is... Uh, that is for sure. So there we go. Thank you, Lalo, for uh, you know, giving me this challenge. It has been a fun experience trying to make this work. I shall, of course, link all the mods used in the description if you want to go and have a go with them. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.